there's basically two things that you need to be doing to avoid cervical cancer. And it's not a laundry list. It's truly just two, all right? Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women and let's talk about it. So when we're talking about what you can do to avoid getting cervical cancer, what I'm gonna tell you is that the women that I have seen get cervical cancer because thank goodness in 2025, it's just not that many, all right? You know, even like 15 years ago when I was in training, there was a lot more. But today, that's not the case. The women that get cervical cancer in my practice today are women that have not seen a gynecologist in usually decades, all right? I have not caught cervical cancer in somebody who's had a pap smear within the last seven to eight years, all right? It's usually somebody that's 10, 15, or you know the two most aggressive that I've seen of late are 20 plus years. Like I haven't had a pap smear since they had their last baby and they're in their 50s and 60s. So number one, regular pap smears because we find things so much earlier before they become a problem. But number two is prevention. You want to prevent the risk of HPV. I, I'm gonna say this, this is a big statement. I have never diagnosed cervical cancer in a woman who has had the HPV shot. Could she have an abnormal pap smear? Yes. Could something be annoying that we have to look at? Yes. But I've never diagnosed cervical cancer in a woman who has had the HPV shot.